So a lot of people were asking us last year, when are you guys coming out with the mini auto Adamus? Here it is. Why did I feel so good? I, this is what we do, man. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host, Tomas Salas, and I'm honored to be here at the Benchmade booth for SHOT Show 2024. I'm joined by Mr. John Marquez from Benchmade. Good to see you. Thanks for having us yeah, here, brother. My pleasure. So we're gonna talk about some of the new things that we have coming down, and you guys went all out. We got a lot of new products. We did, yeah. Um, I mean, we've kind of become known lately for going all out every year, and uh, this year is no exception. You have not disappointed. So let's get into it. What uh, This caught my eye immediately. What is this? Yeah, so uh, something we, we've not really done before is uh, bring back a model mm -hmm. that we've discontinued long ago. So there's a lot of history here. This is the 710. Now the original 710 was designed by um, Bill McHenry and Jason Williams. They created the access lock, they came to us. We worked on the engineering, we patented it and really changed the industry when we introduced the access lock originally. This knife uh, is the 25th anniversary uh, edition essentially kind of uh, of the debut of the 710 and of the access lock and so we really wanted to do something special so we're bringing it back in three different versions this is a limited edition we've got the FDE blade in magna cut steel um, contoured aluminum then here this is going to be inline standard edition with aluminum and s90b steel and then we've got the gold class here, which is going to be very limited to about 250 pieces. So we've got a titanium handle here with aluminum inserts, Fafnir Dama steel, a really cool interlocking backspacer, and a custom uh, pocket clip. Mm -hmm. So I've been really excited about these because new version of the Axis Lock debuting in these knives that originally debuted the Axis Lock 25 years ago. That's incredible. Yeah. It's all coming full circle. Absolutely. Awesome. And now you got some other little ones here. Is that a mini bug out? So two new seasonal variants of the bug out and the mini bug out. First up, the bug out full size with tan groovy handle scales, S30V steel. Um, last year we started doing a lot with color in the bug out. So it's been very popular. We had a lot of requests um, to keep that going and we were very interested in doing that. So wow. tan groovy on this one. On the mini bug out here, we've got sage green groovy and a cool new finish. Also S30V steel with yeah. a crushed silver Cerakote. Crushed silver Cerakote, yeah. that's sexy. Yeah, I mean, we could have done, you know, a typical sort of satin blade, but we really wanted to do something a little bit different. Gotcha. We've never used that before, so. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now I'm seeing some balasongs down there. And with the Filipino martial arts, we love balasongs. Absolutely. So, uh, these caught my eye immediately. And I was like, what's going on here? I, I saw some, some screws and things going on with the handle. Yeah. So this is the 99 Necron. So it's been a few years since we've done a ballet song that was really aimed toward the Flipkin community. Mm -hmm. um, we've done EDC ballet songs, and of course, this is our this is in our blood. This is in our DNA. This is how we got started. So we really wanted to come back with a ballet song that could really appeal to ballet song enthusiasts um, and really kind of celebrate that heritage a little bit. So with these, we've got a scimitar blade shape, which is something we've never done before, but it was really um, a, a popular blade shape for Jody Sampson, who. Um, back in the old days of Ballet Song Inc. and Pacific Cutlery, he ground all of our Ballet Song blades. Wow. So that's kind of a tribute to him is doing that shape for the first time ever. The name also is kind of inspired by um, some of that history. So um, Benchmade uh, Ballet Song Inc. back in the day introduced the Weehawk style blade, which is another design by Jody Sampson. He named that blade after a character from an animated film from the 70s that he was really fond of. And so we went back to that film. We drew the name Necron from that movie Necron. as well. I'll let everybody else kind of figure out what that reference is. But uh, okay. yeah, so a lot of history there. Under the handle scales, we've got milling inside the liner mm -hmm. that is reminiscent of the original Ballet Song milling. And you kind of see it through the JT Gen scales on this version here. Some weights in there? Yeah, there are weights in there, yeah. yeah. So in the box, you'll be able to uh, adjust out of the box with weights, tungsten weights that can go under the handle scales. And then the extensions on the handle are also removable. So you'll be able to put a, just a standard backspacer in there. Wow. So you can really customize the balance, the feel of the handle to your liking to optimize it for flipping. Okay, hang on, but what about the sound? Because that's what matters most. Yeah, so um, those weights, there's enough in there that you can, you can adjust how you want and you can either do them loose or with a small um, little grommet, rubber grommet that goes in there to keep them nice and tight. But the nice thing is, if you leave that rubber piece out, then you get a little bit of a clack that's kind of you know, familiar to people who are used to flipping like a Benchmade 42. Absolutely. Yeah. I love it. And a trainer option available as well. Yep, absolutely. Sweet. This is in the blue G10. And 
Great for practicing, but also great if you can't carry a ballast song somewhere mm -hmm. because it's a live blade. Yeah. You know, I've taken these to the airport and sometimes you get funny looks, but you know, it's legal. I like so, your style, John. Yeah. Absolutely. When you're waiting for a flight, it's seems nice to be able to distract yourself. Yeah, yeah. I love it. The, the adult fidget spinner. Absolutely. That's what it is. All right, sweet. Now, it's talking about getting out there, you're traveling. This looks like a pretty adventurous set that we have coming out here with this water line. Definitely. So we've been working on these knives for about uh, four years now. And um, you know, anytime we enter a new category, we really want to think hard and work on those details because we want to come out and we want to do it right. But we also want to do it the Benchmade way, which is how do we do something that no one else is doing? Mm -hmm. And so um, one of the key features of the entire water collection is the steel, mm -hmm. CPM MagnaCut steel. Everybody knows MagnaCut, everybody's using it right now, but uh, we really wanted to use it to its fullest potential. And the thing that people aren't really talking too much about is the corrosion resistance. It is corrosion So resistant. yeah, the, the best way really to describe it is this is stainless crew wear steel. Wow. It's super tough, it has good edge retention, but the corrosion resistance is better even than any of the previous saltwater steels we've used before. Really? Yeah. I saw over here and we'll get some footage of it. You guys have a demo set up, 30 days of each steel in there. Benchmade looks, the, the Magna Cut from Benchmade looks like you just dropped it in. Absolutely. New sweat. That, yep. That's crazy. Yeah, so that's after 30 here. days, there were absolutely zero indications of corrosion. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah. So, comfortable handle on here. What's the material on that? Yeah, so that's Grivery. It's a 50% glass fill, super comfortable and lightweight. And that was really important to us because we want this to be a nice, robust uh, knife, but we don't want you to add a whole bunch of extra weight. weight. You're already carrying plenty of weight. And, and for those really concerned about weight, we have a mini model? Yes, we do. Tell me yep. about that. The mini Adira. So this is the, this is the Adira. This is the mini Adira. Both of them, very similar shapes. Obviously, a little bit shorter on the mini. Both knives will include the lanyard in the box. Cool. Yeah, and uh, this has actually been kind of taking people by storm at the show here. It's been really popular. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, for those people that don't like folders, you might have a fixed blade for them? Yeah, absolutely. We got a couple here. So first up is the undercurrent. This is kind of a, a, your boat knife, bait knife, dive knife, what have you. Yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I love that. It has that rounded tip up there so you can get underneath. Maybe even a great rescue knife. Yeah, absolutely. That's fantastic. Serrations on there, CPM Magna Cut. And the material on this is? Yeah, the handle is Santa Prime. Santa Prime. So all of the fixed blades in the water collection use that. We've used that in previous models like the Meat Crafter and some of our other hunting knives. Wow, that's really comfortable. Great utility factor there. Absolutely. Now talk to you about the sheet. This also has some added retention. Yeah, absolutely. So obviously we want it to be, you know, be able to carry it in your belt or whatever, uh, put it in a pack. But you know, our thinking was, if you're using this as a bait knife or it's on your boat, it might end up on the bottom of the boat. We don't want that knife coming out of the sheath accidentally if it's rolling around down there. So there is a, a small retention clip there. Press it down and push with your thumb, it comes right out, nice. but make sure it's nice and secure. Awesome, awesome. Now, this one isn't ambidextrous. People rash on me for the way I say ambidextrous. You can put it in both ways. This is a one direction. It is. But the smaller version for everyday carry, is that bi-directional? Yep, it is. Sweet. So this is the intersect. intersect. This is a nice little fisherman's knife or an EDC fixed blade if you'd like. And the sheath is really cool. It's probably my favorite feature because you can carry this in the pocket with that J-hook style clip. You've got a retention strap here, and then you can carry it um, on your belt, and the and the knife goes into the sheath in either direction. That's what we're so, talking about. So, yeah, perfect for ambidextrous use. I love it. Awesome. All right, now we're going to jump into the tactical and black class. Tactical black class and outdoor. Awesome. Yeah. So first up, we'll start with um, the new version of the Bushcrafter. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, we had the Bushcrafter originally, the 162, for uh, oh, five, six, seven years, something like that. And uh, we recently discontinued it, and that's because we wanted to update it. So this new version, we're going to be doing it in two different colorways, two different material selections. And we really wanted to bring it a little bit more in line with the original Cascadia Bushcrafter from Chain Cyber. Right, so check this out. So I'm seeing some carbon fiber on here. Carbon fiber, you've got red G10 liner. Love that. And then CPM Crewwear Steel on this version here. This is the 163 BK. Mm -hmm. And what I'm really enjoying about this is like on that other, it, this is, comes out to a really thin grind. So yep. you still get some great cutting performance out of it, but yet it flares back up for a really robust tip on there. So you can really kind of use this for a wide variety of tasks. That's ultra comfortable. I yeah, and that. then one other cool little feature too. So we did this on the Anonymous, but we've got a sharpened choil there for pulling your uh, ferro rod through and striking it that way. Excellent. Yeah. And, and for those minimalistic people, we got a smaller version. You yeah. Crush it. Yeah, absolutely. We're trying. You know, we do it. Um, this is the mini Bushcrafter. Okay. So we've got a shorter blade here. This version that you see here, OD Green G10 with the red liners, mm -hmm. S30B steel. Both knives will be available in both configurations at both sizes. Let's show the people, show the people the goods right there. That's an amazing side comparison. So this is rocking CPM crew wear. Yep. And this is having S30V. Yes, sir. Sweet. That is a great blade. 
I love that, especially like for people that maybe want something really robust for everyday carry, construction, heavy duty use. I can see that coming in clutch. Yeah, for sure. That's fantastic. This also has that sharpened toil. Yes, it does. It's heating up in here at bench bed. All right, sweet. All right, now this is a knife that I heard that you might be kind of excited about. Yeah, I mean, so we launched. Let's nerd out. Together, yeah, we, we launched the uh, 273-03 Mini Adamas last year with uh, this sort of elevated uh, color scheme and, and material selection. Mm -hmm. So we've got marbled carbon fiber, CPM uh, magna cut stainless steel. We've got the FDE liners. This is an auto. So a lot of people were asking us last year, when are you guys coming out with the Mini Auto Adamas? Here it is. We got to check this out. Wow. Deep carry clip on there, mm -hmm. and this and this also has magna cut. Magna cut. Wow, and wow, I like that. I like that a lot. This is such a great everyday carry blade. Absolutely. All around, even outdoor adventure, hiking. Now you got it in that fast auto format. That is something really cool. Yeah, I love super that. robust, but also small enough to fit in the pocket nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, so I mean, these have been super popular in the manual version, and so we're really excited to be debut the auto. Sweet. All right, now talking about autos, we got some Audi fronty. Mm -hmm. Let's get into Always. it. Always. Yes. So you guys might recognize the shootout. This has been super popular for us. This is our lightweight EDC OTF. Good. We really designed this from the ground up for EDC. Mm -hmm. Typically, OTFs are very tactical, self-defense, all that kind of thing. But the reality is, you know, one hand open close is so convenient for everyday carry. So for the shootout, we've done a new color. This is sage green, nice. kind of matching the mini bug out that we're doing this year as well. Sweet. And then new for the year, we're debuting the 5371 with a drop point blade. Nice. Now, a lot of people, like when they get into everyday carry, they, they get intimidated by the OTF. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, it's just, it's tactical. Mm -mm. It's more practical because Absolutely. if your hand's tied up, you can use that right there, boom, cut. It's quick to go away as well. So if you're working around other people, you're not going to have it getting into your thing. Yeah. And also, like, if you think about it, any kind of a folding knife or anything like that, you're pulling out of your pocket, you're reorienting your hand, you might have to adjust the position of the knife in your hand, open it, and then use it. Whereas with this, draw it, open it, and use it. And it's left or right hand friendly. Yep. Super lightweight. That's really nice. All right. Now, these are the ones that I am most excited for because they're just awesome. They're just badass. Definitely. They're definitely. badass. Let's, let's talk about these. Yeah. So this is new for the year. This is the Claymore OTF. Okay. So uh, kind of taking on some of the, um, the materials and the design choices from the shootout and going super lightweight. This is an injection molded handle, mm -hmm. um, but we really wanted to uh, kind of update this sort of classic infidel look yeah. with something lightweight and using that Claymore uh, styling. So we've got the ball bearing matrix pattern there. We've got the um, Morse code up front that says FTE. Front towards enemy. Absolutely. Let's go. So we've got CPTM D2 steel on both of these. They'll come in black. Serrated or plain edge. Mm -hmm. These are nice scallop serrations. Man. Yep, there you Thank go. You. Oh. So lightweight, so fast. If you're carrying loads of gear, this is gonna be fantastic at having a longer option in your pocket. Very capable for a wide That's variety fine. of package opening. But it's still so fun. I mean, that blade is just fun. Yeah, and you, like, you hardly notice it in your pocket. Oh, wow, okay. Forward grip, reverse grip, that feels really cool. Now, we, we, have, a, we have a theme going on. Maybe this is too big for you, grow up. But let's say you want to go really lightweight. <laughs> what else do we got? Yeah, we've got the mini Claymore OTF, which is actually my favorite. Okay. That never happens. Okay. I usually will go for the full size every time. Me too. But for whatever reason, I just love how compact and small this is. It feels just the same as the uh, full size, nice and nice and uh, you know fast, yeah. lightweight, great click. That feels exactly. really good. Yeah. Why do I feel so good, John? This is what we do, man. <laughs> Wow, we pay that, attention to these things. That really does feel fantastic. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is awesome. I could do that all day long. John, thank you so much. These are some of the new offerings. There's still some more that we didn't even cover here because the video would be really, really long. Yeah. But uh, thank you so much yeah. for spending some My time pleasure. with us, John, yeah. and the Tactical Tavern audience. You guys, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Stay tuned for more SHOT Show 2024 content. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical. Bro, you crushed that. Thanks, dude. Dude, that was perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Oh, my God.